I'm Karen Chambers. My husband Tim and I were TKC, um, those kooky chickens. And we make fun, whimsical folk art. We use gourds and uh, bright colors. Um, also, to do screen paintings and things like that. It's a, a lot of natural and recycled materials. It's meant to make you smile and be happy. That's the whole point of our art. Um, we enjoy um, getting comments from folks about that when they walk into a room, it makes them smile. So that, that's our whole purpose. Um, we used a lot of bright colors because um, everybody needs a touch of color in their life. So that's what we do. We're those kooky chickens. cinnamon roll. Can you see me doing that? And then when I'm done, I'm going to use three rubber bands to divide it into six pieces, because that's how the math works. One divides it into two, two divides it into four, and three divides it into six. Then I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to dye it. And I'm going to go in rainbow order. Who knows what that name, that color is? And then after red is orange, okay. and I put it around the outside and then the inside. And then I'm gonna do yellow, red, orange, yellow. Who knows what comes next? Green. Green, green. excellent, you know your colors. What comes after green? Blue, blue green. comes next and then purple. And then when I'm done with this side, I flip it over like a pancake and I put the same colors on the other side. So I don't have to worry if I don't get complete coverage on one side because I bring it over to the other side. And that's how tie-dye is made. So when it's all done, I'm gonna wrap it up and then it has to sit for 24 hours and then I'll take it home. And on Tuesday or Wednesday, which is more than 24 hours away, I will open it up and I'll rinse it out and it's like having Christmas at my house because I get to be surprised at what the design looks like. And it goes in there and that's going to keep it nice and wet until I'm ready to rinse it and then it can go out on my shelves and I'll sell them. Very cool. Thanks for watching. This is Willie's Wooden Wonders. My husband, Paul, makes the lathe turn wooden bowls and other decorative items. And I do the flower and fern decorations. Our products are made to be used so that they're all hand washable and food safe. And the flowers and ferns in the bottom of the decorative bowls and dishes are grown uh, by ourselves and then pressed and put into the bottom of the bowl and sealed with an epoxy. We like our bowls to be used. They're hand washable and food safe. Hello, I am Laura Walker and I call my business Art with a Soul. I tell people that I like to do art with emotion, art with meaning, art that has a soul. I feel like the magic in art is when we have our emotions in it. I love to do these whimsical animals with thick oil paints and lots of texture, very juicy and full of color and joy. I find that the people who buy my art do it because it brings them joy and they really love having it. They'll tell me a year later, I laugh at this painting every day. So it's been a pleasure to be here in Blue Ridge, Georgia.
Hi, I'm Mike Carley with Redbird Photo Gallery. I'm at the Blue Ridge Arts in the Park. We chose this show because A, there's a, a very good vendor group here. It's a very good show. The art is excellent and the customers are very art savvy and they're here to shop and buy. If you're not here, you should be. My name's Bob Hale, I'm with Coastal Leather and I've been doing this since I was 11 years old. Uh, it starts as a raw hide of leather and it's tanned out to make belts and various leather products. So uh, we start with the basic hide, strip them out into belts, guitar straps, bags, things of that nature and we travel around the country and sell at arts and craft shows. and. I have a shop down in Robertsdale, Alabama. I'm Alja Jones with Alja's Vintage Bird Houses from Cochran, Georgia. They are repurposed from vintage tins and made the wood ones are made from an old uh, farmhouse with the uh, tin off the roof and the heart pine lumber. Hello, I'm John Gibson and what you're looking at is my art. I've been doing this for about 25 years and the thing that's kept me motivated all these years is I try to create something that a person can hang in their house and have a memory of something that they have seen, touched, smelled, or been to, whether it's a mountain in the Aspen Forest, or along a creek bed with trout, or maybe canoeing down a creek. And so I do a variety of art. Most all of it is three-dimensional. Most of it has to do with the natural environment in one form or another. And so my hope is that when people buy my work, they'll be able to put in in their house and have some type of memory of, of things that in their own mind they can relate to. Thank you. We're the Benton Mackay Trail Association. We represent the Benton Mackay Trail, which runs about 300 miles from Springer Mountain in Georgia to the northern part of the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina. We have a website, bmta.org. On that site, we offer hikes that are open to the public. We also have twice monthly work trips. We actually do maintain the trail. We are not just a hiking association. We do maintain the trail and we'd love to have you join us. So please check out our website, check out the activities page, bmta.org. <laughs>